In 2021, Old Trafford hosted its first women's Super League match. The latest WSL game here was the Manchester Derby, which drew in a crowd of over 43,000 fans. We caught up with Hannah Blundell. She joined United in 2021. Thank you so much for joining us today. You were voted Players Player of the Season last year. How did that feel? Yeah, a big honour. Um, unexpected, but to be voted something like that from your peers, someone who watches you train every day, um, was a real honour for myself and something I was really proud of. So since you've been at Man United, any highlights that you can talk about? I think the season we had last year was very good. Um, in general, I think the whole time I've been at United and previously, we've been progressing every single year. Um, and then to finish second in the league, I think, was a big achievement for the club itself um, and for us as players. Of course, we want to push on again this year. Um, but yeah, finishing second last year, <clears throat> getting to an FA Cup final, um, yeah. I'd say it was a big highlight for myself. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, enjoy it. It was a lovely day. Yeah. I mean, obviously not for you. No, it wasn't great, the result, but I think in general it was obviously a big achievement for the club to actually get there in the first place. How does it feel playing for the badge and the history that comes with it and that responsibility? Yeah, I guess there's a, a little bit of pressure considering the club has a lot of history. Um, but I think, of course, the women's team is still five, six years old. So we want to make sure that we build our own history, um, but also learn from the values and the principles that the club in general have. Um, and we take that into performances um, and into games. But it's such a historic club that it's a real privilege to play for. Can you talk about your football beginnings, essentially, when you decided that you could become professional, take it on as a full-time gig? Can you talk about that? Yeah, so I actually started playing when I was seven. Um, and I just played for the love of the game. Never had any feelings or future dreams, I guess, of being a professional footballer, because then it wasn't a thing for women. Um, but then when I was about 16, I was at the Chelsea Academy and then it was kind of, the women's game was getting a little bit bigger and I thought, oh, maybe if I keep doing this, hopefully I could um, make something of it. And yeah, thankfully I stayed at Chelsea, progressed through the academy reserves and then got into the first team. And then that was when I really thought, okay, yeah, I want this as a, as a job, I guess. Amazing. The women's game back then, up to now, it has changed, it's progressed a lot. What do you think has been the biggest changes, football back then compared to what it's like now? I think now there's a lot more exposure, um, especially on TV. Um, I think kids nowadays, they've got the role models. Um, I never had that as a kid, watching women's football on TV. Um, even watching it live in person, there wasn't many games to go to. Um, so now I think, yeah, the exposure, it's good that TV is investing more, um, sponsorships are investing more, um, and I think it's very exciting for the future. At the moment, Karen Carney is leading a government review into women's football, making sure that it does progress. You played with her previously at Chelsea. What was it like playing with her? Yeah, she was very vocal then, um, always pushing standards on the pitch, off the pitch. And I think you can see that's reflected in the job she's got now, the role she has now. Um, and it's good that we've got someone like her as a face of women's football as well, um, pushing the game further and further, and someone that's been in the sport. Yeah, definitely. Putting football to one side, 
Can we talk about your outside life, your home life? Any hobbies, any interests that you might have? I'm a bit of a geek, to be fair. I like video games. Um, me and my fiance, yeah, we've got a little games room in the house. So pretty much most of the off time is spent playing, I don't know, Call of Duty. Me too. That's something I like to do, and a few of the girls um, play as well, which is nice. So that's probably my main hobby outside of football.